Welcome to your national weather update. Colder weather is on the way for all of us this weekend. For Friday, though, we do have to focus still on the heavy rain. It's been a very wet night over parts of Wales from the swirl of cloud. Further north, we have a, another swirl of cloud. Yes, two areas of low pressure dominating our weather at the moment. This one is introducing the colder air, and this one is introducing heavier rain. As I said, it's been a very wet night, particularly through parts of Wales, and uh, the rain continuing to edge slowly south through the rest of the day. We do have Met Office uh, yellow warning in place over parts of England and Wales, staying pretty soggy over South Wales, Southwest England, and that rain spreading into the Midlands. East Anglia in the southeast may stay largely dry through the afternoon, but it will turn wetter here this evening. Further north, brightening up actually over northern England and north Wales and some sunny spells for Scotland and Northern Ireland, but plenty of blustery showers coming in here as well. And we have the colder air in place, so temperatures here struggling to get into the teens. Whereas further south, one more day over 20 Celsius, 20 or 21 with a bit of brightness across the southeast, but uh, that's isn't going to be the case through the weekend. This area of rain will track across the Midlands, then into East Anglia in the southeast. There's some very heavy rain for this evening's rush hour across the southeast before that scoots away. And then it gets very windy across the Northern Isles during this evening. Gusts of 60, maybe 70 miles an hour. So very blustery here, staying pretty windy generally across northern Scotland. And that breeze feeding showers down through the night through Northern Ireland, parts of Wales and northwest England. Those showers starting to fall as snow over the hills across Scotland because we do have the colder air. Now, enough wind to stop it getting too frosty, but we will see some pockets of frost in sheltered parts of northern Scotland. Certainly further south, a much colder night than we've been used to. Temperatures well down into single figures, but Saturday night will be colder still. Before we get there, though, Saturday looks generally sunny over southern parts of Scotland, eastern England, much of uh, southeast England too. There will be some showers coming into Wales, a few for northwest England, Northern Ireland and Western Scotland with still some snow mixed in over the hills across northern Scotland. The wind's slowly easing through the day, but still a, a blustery day here. And that will exacerbate the chilly feel. Temperatures in single figures here and, and feeling colder. Elsewhere, we might stumble into the teens, but compared to last weekend when we had temperatures in the mid-20s, it really will feel an awful lot colder. And if you're heading out on Saturday night, be prepared for those temperatures to drop quite sharply. Still a few showers around as well on Saturday evening over North Wales, Northwest England, north coast of Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. Otherwise, many places will be dry. We've got high pressure toppling in, so pushing away the low pressure systems. There's a little weather front that will uh, increase the cloud and bring some showers to Northern Scotland on Sunday, but generally under the influence of high pressure moving in, that will bring a clear start, a cold start to Sunday, but generally a fine day with a good amount of sunshine over Northern England, Eastern England, Southern England, maybe a bit more cloud for North Wales, the odd shower here. And that weather front will bring some cloud and showers over parts of northern Scotland at times. But the winds will be a lot lighter here. Temperatures will, again, be much lower than last weekend, lower than average as well. So a, a chilly feeling weekend for sure, with high pressure set to control our weather into the early part of next week. Plenty going on, so do keep up to date. Best way to do that, of course, is to follow us on social media.